Welcome back, everybody. In the weeks leading up to election, we are bringing you exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews here on Daybreak with the candidates running for office. Now, this morning, Thomas Kugel is here with us. He's one of three Democrats running for state representative in the 139th district. Mr. Kugel, Mr. Kugel, good morning. Thanks for coming in this morning. Good morning, Thanks. Kyle. Thanks for having me. A pleasure. Let's start with who you are. What do, uh, what do you do? Uh, well, I'm in the grocery business, and, and first and foremost, I'm, I'm a husband and father. I'm very involved in my church and uh, in my community. Okay. Um, your campaign, you're running against uh, Patty Bentley, Michael Dinkins. All three of you are Democrats. What is your campaign based upon? Uh, you know, looking out there, our families are falling apart in, in 139. Uh, we've got to do something about it. I think it starts with jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to get people back to work. Uh, and the sooner we do that, would bet the better. I, I believe that it's about recruitment uh, and about going the extra mile, and I'm willing to do that. Okay, so now uh, 139 covers Taylor, Peach, Macon, and Dooley counties. That's correct. What what specifically are you planning to do? Do you have a specific plan to get those jobs in? Y yes, I do. Uh, you know, I believe that what companies need to see is a is a is a plan put together. Uh, coming into the to the district, so in, instead of coming to the district and making a plan, I propose to go out actively recruit businesses that would be a good fit for us, make a plan, and then uh, come into the different counties where uh, where we might uh, see some job growth and and get things going. So what? How are you qualified for that? What, uh, what makes you the guy to do that? I've been in business uh, my whole life. I started working in our family grocery store when I was uh, 11 years old and uh, rose all the way to uh, now running the company. Uh, so, so I've had a hard knocks education in business and I understand what businesses need to operate. Uh, I have about 160 employees of my own. So I understand what it takes for a large scale business to make it in a rural community uh, in that way. Okay, uh, do you see a lack of jobs and, and economic problems in the district in 139 district is that an issue that's facing everybody there? Certainly, uh, you know, in the last 20 years we've had negative job growth. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, people have, have lost. We've lost more jobs than we've gained, and we've got to change that. Uh, you know, agriculture doesn't employ as many people as it did as far as uh, crops going in the traditional sense. Uh, but I believe that in supporting our ag agriculture economy right here at home, we can grow jobs uh, in the ag industry. Uh, but we've got to take a different line. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you're elected, what is the, the first item that you want to see completed, the first thing on your agenda? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm very interested in, in trying to craft a bill, and this is sort of off my central message, uh, in looking at uh, rural funding for education. Uh, grants many times come in, and they overfund certain areas. Uh, and there's no avenue for a rural community to go in and petition someone to use the remainder of that funding for another purpose. Uh, which I believe would really help us get our education system going and improve our job uh, picture. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you, Good Kyle. luck to you in the race. And we will be bringing you interviews like this all week long right here on Daybreak. And please don't forget, voting is July 31st this year.